Technology plays an important role in making writing a process because writing assignments consist of multiple steps, each of which uses technology in a different way. The processes that we see in process writing curricula typically include planning, drafting, revising, editing, and proofreading. Word processing is central to all those processes, but several different technologies are needed. Let's hear how Leah Johannesson uses technology in developing the writing process for an assignment in the writing classes that she teaches. Hello everyone, my name is Leah Johansson and I'm going to walk you through how I help my students develop their writing process using technology. But before I get into details, it's important to give some context. Thinking about your own personal context is also important before you do any planning on how to use tech technology. You need to think about your students and the assignment they will be working on before you choose how to use technology to help them learn. In this example, I'll be talking about a class I taught last semester, English 101B. This class is taught to undergraduate and graduate students at Iowa State University. The class focuses on writing single paragraphs in academic English and is the beginner level of academic writing classes here at the university. One of the first assignments students write is the descriptive paragraph. In this assignment, students should pick a place on campus and write one paragraph describing it. The assignment asks students to focus on describing two or three specific aspects of the place they picked. It is also focused on using sensory language, which describes things students can see, smell, hear, touch, etc. Step one for students in the writing process is planning. This is where they need to start thinking of ideas for their paper and planning ways to write. Online resources can be a big help, but I know that I can't just make my students look for resources on their own. Instead, I went out and found some resources for them, which I then shared through our course management site and through in-class activities. One example of a helpful resource is the text on the left. This is a descriptive piece from the Iowa State website about an important building on campus. Reading a descriptive paragraph like this will help students get ideas about the genre they are writing in. I had my students look at this piece online and find places where the text used sensory language to describe the building. That way, they had an authentic example of what the assignment wanted them to use. Another resource I gave my students was a page from the website Purdue OWL. This website is a very credible source for writing help, and this particular page on the right lists lots of ideas and strategies for students to use when they are brainstorming. Step two for students is the drafting stage. This is where they need to actually write the content that will go into their essay. Depending on their writing style, students may or may not have outlined or planned their essay before this step. For myself, and for many students, simply getting words onto the page is the hardest step in the writing process. Therefore, I like to keep this step as simple as possible. I encourage students to write their drafts using a word processing program, like Microsoft Word or Pages, and to focus on getting all of their ideas written down. Another technology I sometimes recommend to students for this step is Google Docs. Google Docs lets students access their essay from any device, so they don't need to worry about staying in one place to write. It also tracks how long they are active in writing, and this can be helpful for making sure they are putting in enough time and effort for each assignment. 